And on our way there, we're gonna get visited by some more chocolate guys. And, uh, it's gonna be delicious, so... What's up, everybody? Badass Games, welcome back to Tomb Raider 2, The Golden Mask. Today, we have one final level to get through, and that is Nightmare in Vegas. You have seen me go through all these other levels without using a med pack, and this one is just as possible, and it's not nearly as hard. Okay, so, and when we start this level, we start with absolutely nothing. Um, however, I have noticed that if you, um, load a save and then exit the title and then start this level, you actually do start with a bunch of stuff. But, I'm gonna assume that you have nothing, and I'm gonna go from here, so, let's go and check this out now. You start off in this bathroom, there's nothing you can do except for maybe take a bath, but that's cool. We'll buy past the bath for now let's push this button and leave this room and then you're right out here into this room i guess it's your it's your room you're like in a hotel in vegas or something it's pretty crazy okay now there's a bunch of doors around here in this room that have buttons you may notice okay um that door doesn't have a button but we'll sh i'll show you how to open that here in a second this door right here you can open and go out there if you'd like there's nothing out there except for death if you fall off the edge so let's just not go out there. Let's actually open this door right here and go in here and go collect a bunch of stuff. We got some flares, mm -hmm. shotgun shells, med packs. You know, the works, man. The works. Uh, the only thing we're missing here is a mm -hmm. weapon of some kind. We just got the ammunition for the mm -hmm. shotgun, but we don't have the shotgun just mm -hmm. yet. All right, so I'm picking up all this stuff. Mm -hmm. As you know, she can actually jump because the ceiling is so low that she hits her head and lands directly on the next item. So. Right here, some more pickups, and includes the shotgun, so it didn't take very long. Awesome. Now, let's go over here. Now, as we approach this door, actually, let me go ahead and show you this. You can press this button, and you see a picture of Winston. Oh, look at him. He's in the... Somebody locked him in the bathroom. It's At least it's not the freezer, right, Winston? All right, so let's go out here into the hallway. You can think of this as, like, the hallway, and down there is a door with a keyhole. We can't. We don't have the key, so we can't do anything. None of the doors open as you approach them. So what you need to do is go through this window, right here. Okay. So as I walk out here, the way it goes over here to the right. But I'm gonna he go ahead and take a look to the left and let you know that you can come out here and you know stand on the ledges out there. That's, that's where the other door led to that had the button. But I'm not. Like I said, it's really not necessary. There's nothing out there. No items. And this is the proper way to go. You can't get anywhere from there to begin with. Okay, I'm gonna, I jumped and I grabbed this ledge so I could shimmy over to the left to this ladder. This ladder is gonna let me climb down and then climb back up over there to the left just a little bit. And there's a window right here. You'll see some dudes behind there. Fortunately, that window cannot be broken, so they're not gonna shoot at you from there. However, as soon as you jump over here, there are some windows that can be broken. So I'm gonna break the window, so that way they have to come out here, or they will, they don't have to, they will come out here because they're gonna try and kill you. But I'm gonna do the old ambush tactic, and just stand here with my shotgun ready. Blow them away as they come up around the corner. And they both drop something, which is pretty interesting too. We uh -huh. got shotgun shells and a small med pack. Sometimes they die directly on top of each other, uh -huh. so you can actually pick them both up. Now, I kind of uh, chose to broke this window. I actually didn't choose because Lara was aiming, but this is the best one to, to break because you want them to come around the corner as close to this tile as possible. Otherwise, they might get a couple shots on you, but that doesn't really matter in this level, to be honest, if, even if they do get a couple shots on you. So there's also a door right there. Eh, whatever. Okay, that actually leads out to the balcony that you were just at. Okay, in between uh -huh. the two beds, there are some shotgun shells. Uh -huh. And you may be able to hear the rattling of the tray by Winston. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. As you notice, I picked up two uh -huh. pickups of shotgun shells over here in the corner. There's another one for three total pickups. Let's go ahead and press this button, and he's free! Yay, Winston! All right. Uh -huh. <laughs> What's up, guy? How you doing? Uh -huh. All right, inside of here, it's very important, we pick up a small med pack. That's not the most important thing, though. Over here in this shower, there is a key. Uh -huh. This is the key that we're going to use to open up the, the door. It goes in the keyhole that we saw before, so... All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave Winston in here because um, we don't want him getting into trouble. He's kind of fragile, so I'm just going to lock him in here, so... All right, have a good one, Winston. Nice talk, man. Okay, so let's go out here and uh, use this key on the door right here. Actually, this is the same hallway that we were in 
This door opens as you approach it from the inside, and we can use the key on this door right here. Actually, just the keyhole. The door is actually to the right. The double door is right here. And this is going to lead us into this room right here. Now, uh, this is sort of the reason why I actually locked Winston back in the bathroom is because he comes out here with you, and he has potentially can knock you over the edge. It's not a very uh, short fall, so you are bound to die if that happens. So over here, you'll notice a, a large med pack, and um, you may think you can't make this jump, but let's jump at it anyway and see what happens. Hmm, we, we have found that this sculpture is climbable, and in fact, a large majority of this sculpture is climbable. You can actually climb from the very bottom all the way to the very uh -huh. top, or vice versa if you'd like. And that's cool. Now, there are a couple ways you can get down from to the very bottom, which we do need to do eventually. Uh, you can slide down here, or uh, there's another way. I'm going to show you that way here in a little bit. Uh, I'm actually going to make my way back over to this ledge, so that way I can make my way over into this room over here. All right, we'll go down there in a little bit. I actually want to take a look over here, too, just to show you some stuff. Right here is a circuit box. We need to put something in there. And right here is a, a switch that's supposed to activate the elevator that's above you. Okay, if you take a look up, I don't know if I can actually see it up there. Oh, it's too high. But anyway, there's an elevator up there, but it's stuck because, I mean, I, even though I pulled the switch, it's not going to come down because this thing needs to be filled in before we can do that. Okay, so it's basically like the same thing in Opera House. You need to get the relay box so that way you can use the uh, elevator. But... Anyway, we come in here and we see the biggest chicken! He's going nuts. He's not happy with his, uh, um... He's not happy with his current situation. That's okay, we'll solve that here in a little bit. Uh, as you can see, like, there's these signs on here for Three King Convention, and I imagine he's one of the guys in the convention. Will you please be quiet? I'm trying to explain how to raid here. Jeez. Okay, now there are a couple items in here, which is why I came in here. Right up here there is some flares. Now be careful, though, as soon as you pick this up, there's going to be a guy with a gun that spawns behind you. Um, if you're quick enough, you can pick that up and then go over here and pick up these shotgun shells before he even gets to you. Uh, but if you're afraid of getting uh -huh. shot at, then um, I recommend just turning, waiting for him and turning and shooting once you pick up the flares. Or just get the shotgun shells first. Ambush him. And now we're not done with the items in this area. First, we want to climb to the very top. There's more stuff up there. So we'll be doing that. Um, there's another important item in this room, however, we don't have access to it. And I'll show you that here if I can get a shot at it, as soon as I get over here to this thing. If we look down, do you see that? It is the gold skull. He's guarding this thing. Hmm, okay, well anyway, over here on top of this thing, back here, uh -huh. um, at the very end of it, there are some shotgun shells, small uh -huh. med pack, and that's about it. That's all the items in this room. And now we're actually ready to make our way down to the bottom. Now, a lot of these items you don't have to pick up. Like, you don't even have to come in this room. In fact, uh, there's a lot of stuff that I'm going to be doing that you don't need to do. I'm doing it for the sake of telling you where the items are. So if you're trying to go for time or if you really don't care about items, then this room can be skipped for sure. Okay, now I'm going to show you the best way down to the bottom, okay? First of all, you know that you can climb the sculpture if you'd like all the way down to the bottom. But if you take a look... You see that gate down there with the water underneath it? Turns out that if you stand here and dive toward it, Lara will actually make it all the way down in there safely. Because the, the door opens, I believe, when she hovers over the golden tile that she passed by. But anyway, down in here we find the Uzis. That was what I just picked up. I know you can barely see it, but that's what that was. I have the Uzis now. So we can act ooze all over some people if we'd like. Alright, but there's a bunch of pickups for Uzi ammo down here too, and then we can swim out here and into this key. Now, um, this key isn't required, so you don't have to pick this up, but when you do pick it up, there's going to be a guy that spawns to your left. He might actually get a couple shots off on you. Looks like I was lucky, I didn't get hit. But I'm gonna stand here and ambush this guy. Um, like I said, this key is not required. It only gets you to, um some items, that's all it does, so you can actually bypass that. This whole area right here is accessible. You can actually get that key without going in the without jumping in the water from where I did. Okay, that door right below me would be shut if you didn't do it that way. But, um, you can actually slide all the way down here. Here's the sculpture, so now I'm gonna come over here where this keyhole is. That's where the key's gonna go, but before I actually do anything as you can see, by coming over in this area, we spawned this guy. 
And not just this guy. There's another guy out here somewhere. He's on his way. Okay, so it spawns two guys. And as soon as I deal with these guys, they both drop something. I'm going to pick up their stuff. And I'll use the key then. Now remember, uh -huh. you don't need to use the key here. This is just for the sake of getting uh -huh. items. Which is kind of interesting. I believe this is like one of the only levels where you actually get a key of some kind in order to open a door that leads to nothing but items. This key is absolutely not required to beat this level. It's crazy. I never... I don't think I've seen any levels like that in the Tomb Raider series. But I could be wrong. I'm just maybe just tired or something. I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna take out my shotgun and wait right here. There's gonna be another guy with a gun that comes around the corner. It's right there. There he is. Blow him away. He drops something. Okay. And this this guy in particular uh -huh. drops something. We'll find somebody else here in a second that doesn't drop anything. We're gonna kill him. Okay, and over uh -huh. here are some shotgun shells. This is the only area that has uh, that guy that drops something. Those are the only two items in this area. There's nothing in here. Nothing else in here at all. So let's leave. But before we actually leave out of this room, there is another way we can go over here to the to the right from where we entered, or to my left, if you will. And right there is another guy that spawns. He's gonna come around the corner. I'll blow him away with the shotgun once again. And yeah, that's about it. Okay, now he doesn't drop anything, but in this room where the guy doesn't drop something, there are two pickups of shotgun shells. And as you can see, uh -huh. this is another one of the three kings. So we've seen two of the kings so far. This one and the uh, big ass chicken upstairs. So, yeah, that's the uh, the Three Kings convention. We'll see just exactly what the uh, other king is here too. Um, it's kind of a, a letdown, but all right. So that's all I went in there for was a couple of items. It's it. You don't have to go in there. I'll say that one more time. And this is the way you need to go. Okay. First of all, before I go in here, I'll let you know that over here is. Um, there's a couple things I'll show you get your bearings in this area. Right here some double doors. Okay, these will open eventually. I'll show you how to do that. And at the very end over here, there is, where I picked up the key originally, there is that uh, place that looks like it requires something. Okay, and that's going, we're going to get that item too. Um, but this is the way to go from here on out, from for now. We want to go into this crazy looking room. I'm pretty sure Lara is actually dreaming, and this is in fact a nightmare where she is in Vegas. I don't know what the story is behind this. I've never heard it told, so I have no clue, but I would imagine she's tripping or something. All right, so that button alone does nothing. However, when you push this button as well, a few things happen. First of all, you get some awesome music. Okay, second of all, it raises the curtain in the background. Now you can see a bunch of cool stuff going on out there. Okay, so that's number two. Number three, it actually opened the doors, the double doors I showed you just a second ago, back in that direction. However, I'm not going to go there just yet, okay? Because this way is going to take us to a place where we get a secret. So let's go in here and grab this thing. Now, I'm going to get out my Uzis and I'll lay waste to all these guys with bats. That guy right there I'm shooting right now drops shotgun shells. The rest of these guys drop nothing. They're worthless. All right, so once you get done oozing all over those guys, there's a small med pack out here in the open, and there's also some flares over here by this chair, by this pillar, even. Okay, so I mentioned that this guy dropped shotgun shells. Go ahead and grab those. And then there's also some more shotgun shells center stage. Now, be wary, though. As soon as you pick these up, it's going to spawn some more of these guys, just two of them. One in front of you, one behind you, or to your left and right, whichever way you're facing unload on these guys and once they're down all the guys are dead okay now we have to actually do the puzzle uh, well uh, before I do the puzzle though of course I'm gonna finish picking up the items if we hop up here be very careful these boxes that are swinging do take massive amounts of damage so be very careful you want to jump up here somehow by avoiding this the um, swinging things and pick up two boxes of shotgun shells. Like I said, this is also not required. This is all for a secret. In fact, you could avoid this uh, area entirely if you don't care about secrets. Okay, so the secret is down in this grate. Now the question is, how do we open this grate? Well, there's these boxes. There's a couple of these boxes that you can move, and we need to move them onto these tiles right here that have. Um, white on him, I guess. Now, the how do you know which boxes to move? Well, first of all, the boxes that are directly in front of those tiles do not have keyholes. This box I'm moving does not have a keyhole. Uh, however, the, I can't necessarily say that because 
sometimes a keyhole glitches onto it, and I don't know, it's weird, but um, move this box onto that location, and then go over here, notice that there's another box right here that does not have a keyhole, and let's pull this thing back onto this tile, and then we will have that hatch opened. And we'll go down there and grab the secret. Kind of a long-winded secret, and uh, you know, this entire area is not necessary. I believe you could probably get through this level really quick if you didn't care about uh, secrets or items or anything, but I do care about secrets and items, so I'll get them. Okay, so now I came into this room. Take a look around, okay? Um, here's, here's an example of a movable box just to my left. Okay, in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, that's a movable box, but it does have a keyhole. Don't let it throw you off. You can actually use the coloring, too. Like this, if you look at the surrounding tiles, they all seem to have yellow tint to them at some areas, whereas this one does not. It's completely grayscale. So, we just want to pull this one out. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean need to be on any particular tile. It just needs to be out of the way, and I'll show you why here in a sec. Okay, the reason why is because I want to be able to move this box back here, and if that other box was in the way, I wouldn't be able to move it. I'd be crushing Lara right now. But, or, well, the game would have prevented you from doing it. Underneath this box, when you moved it, there are some shock, uh, not shock and shells, but Uzi clips. Alright, let's push this box, so that way we get a little bit more room to move the box that's behind me right now. There's another movable box right here. Okay, notice it does not have a keyhole, and it does not have any yellow tint to it. Move it to about right there. That's all we need to do. Go on the other side, and boom, here are the gold uh -huh. coins, the first secret. Okay, um, now we need to climb out of here. There's nothing else in here. We've got everything we need. We don't even need to be at the stage anymore. We're gonna go to, uh, another part. Remember, I, uh, told you, okay, just in case you forgot. Whoops, I found a piano. I told you that the buttons over here not only, they did a lot of stuff. First of all, played music, opened the curtains, and opened the double doors. So now we gotta go through the double doors. However, it also, those buttons also made it so that this guy spawns. He's gonna come around the corner here on the right side, probably. Yeah, there he is. And he drops stuff. He's one of the few people that do drop stuff uh -huh. in this. And he drops two things. Small med pack, Uzi ammo. We'll grab that, and then we'll come out into this room, found a ceiling. And then, we will go through the double doors that we opened. And boom, look, another elevator. Fortunately, this elevator does not require any special circuits or anything. It will actually activate. Okay, the door shuts and it's on its way down. Let's stand here, face this thing for a little while, while we wait for this thing to come down. And while we're waiting, I got a comment here from Bloody Vampire Fang 0 and says, Man, now I really feel like eating chocolate. If you remember in the last video, I called them the uh, Yetis or Sasquatch or whatever you want to call them. Um, chocolate bars or whatever. I was poofing the chocolate, but I'm sorry for making you guys hungry for that. Okay, so when the elevator came down, I flipped the switch back up and I got in it real quick, so that way I would be in it when it lifted back up. And now, we are not at the top level, okay? We're actually like halfway up the this thing, halfway up the sculpture. So what I'm gonna do now is, you may have noticed the ladder, okay? You can use this lever to move the elevator out of the way. And then you can climb up there. It's just for a simple item. If you don't care about the item, then you actually want to stand on that tile that's to my left right now. And then you want to jump over to that gold part. I'll show you here in a second because we're going to come back around. Um, but for now, I'm going to climb this thing and try to show you what's up. Okay, so um, you can actually stand on top of the elevator and you know, it makes it a little bit easier. But I was too busy discussing something that I totally missed my chance for doing that. It's kind of dark in here. You can light a flare if you want. We're not going to be in here for very long. And I'm gonna pull out my shotgun. Now be very careful, there are there is glass down there, and also there's going to be a guy that spawns as soon as you start hopping over this thing. I'm gonna try to get rid of him quickly. Okay, try to get rid of him quickly without touching the glass. <laughs> do not jump in the, gla the glass either, he will push you around in the glass uh -huh. and do damage, so... Alright, so there's shotgun shells, so pretty much all I did that for was the kill and for the shotgun shells, that's it. Okay, but now we came around the corner, over there is the elevator, you can see the little funky texture on the floor. And that tile that I told you to stand on is right here, and that's what I'm going to be aiming for. Okay, and uh, I'll show you exactly where you got to go from here. Well, dang it, if I can make the frickin' jump. Alright, so, yeah, you got to be careful with this jump because, well, even if you do hit this slope, you could slide, pull yourself over to the right, and pull yourself up onto this tile. But, um... 
Regardless, this is where you want to be. Now you want to put your back against the wall, you want to aim for this gold slope. Right here. Now you may be thinking to yourself, well, if this sculpture is climbable, this probably wouldn't be too hard to reach. Actually, it is. It is actually one of the hardest parts to reach this ledge. You have to pretty much come from this direction. I couldn't find any other way of actually landing on this. Maybe if I climbed... I'm thinking maybe if I climbed uh, this center thing, right where Lara's head is at, and then jump, turn around, and veered to the right, I could land on this. I figured, whatever, I'll just do it the right way. So, I mean, there there is probably a way to get on that, but let's just do the normal way, the way that they intended. All right, now, before we go anywhere, let's walk through uh -huh. the glass, pick up some Uzi ammo. There's another one right here. Now, you uh -huh. have to get out of the glass, which kind of sucks, because there is this circuit board right there. <laughs> okay, so we hop toward it. We take a little bit of damage. Oh, well uh -huh. Grab the circuit board and also the large med pack uh -huh. Okay, now the idea is to get down safely. There are a couple ways you can um, fall off this thing if you uh, Fall backwards and grab in the air you can slide under I think you take a little bit of damage I'm not sure what I usually do is I get back on that yellow thing. I jump over the glass It's kind of tricky though. You what you want to do if you're going to do it this method is Line yourself up with this first tile of glass, okay? And make sure you're aiming straight away. And then take a hop back and also take a step back. And then do a running jump. You may overshoot. Yeah, I overshot. That's fine. I wanted to go this way anyway. So overshooting is pretty good. As long as you don't get impaled by the glass, you're fine. Okay, now over here is where that circuit board that I just picked up goes. Okay, and then we're going to meet one of the kings. I'm going to have to fight him. So let's get out the Uzis so we can ooze all over this thing. Alright, well I'm going to climb up here. He wasn't at the door, so I'm going to climb up here and uh, fight him from up here. Uh, it seems to be the safest place. I'm not sure though. I, I have not gotten bit while I was up here, so I think it is one of the safer places. Um... But it looks like this never happened before. It's kind of odd. Alright, it's down. Sweet! Now we can go out into this open area. Before I do that, actually, uh, I should go back here and pick up the flares. Now, I didn't pick this up first because, <laughs> yeah, it's, there's a T-Rex standing out here. I don't have time to pick up. I need to kill him first and then go pick stuff up. Okay, now, this is a large open area. The only thing that you need to be concerned with is straight out from where you entered go around this building on my left. Okay, this is a little important, I suppose. There is a bunch of automatic ammo, uh -huh. including the automatic pistols, right here. Uh -huh. So we get our automatic pistols! Yay! We can actually use those, too, because we're going to be fighting some stuff here in a second. Uh, -huh. uh in particular, we're going to be fighting this uh, bat guy who comes around the corner. Okay. And uh, another one's going to spawn here in a little bit. Now, there's still... Th couple of ways that I still need to go. First of all, here is the the uh, relay box we need for that elevator. Uh -huh. Let's pick this up, but be mindful, as soon as you pick that up, you're going to spawn another T-Rex, the second king. So that'd be, yeah, it's pretty much a, like, where's the third king? Well, this is actually, there's two T-Rexes and the big-ass chicken, so. Now, standing in this area, I'm doing this on purpose because... It, I think this T-Rex can't fight me very well from there. Okay, well, I killed them both. Oh, their graves are right on top of each other. That's so sweet. All right, let's go in here and pick up some stuff. We got the large med pack. Mm -hmm. We also have some flares, and I think there might be a baton guy running around right now. Mm -hmm. I don't actually don't know. I know that there is a third one out here, but I'm not sure exactly what spawns him. There he is. Let's go ahead and waste him. And now, what we want to do before we go back is we want to go into this room where the T-Rex was, okay? This is where it originally spawned from, okay? Because there is the gold bars, yay! Uh-huh. Secret to the gold bars. Okay, now you may recognize this area, okay? This is where I actually went in and killed a couple guys. I used the key to come in here and there was nothing of interest in there except for a couple of items. It was not required. So that's all that is in here. Now that we have all the stuff in this area, let's go ahead and leave. And now we have the uh, the relay that goes into the um, elevator thing at the very top. We got to get to the very top first. So that's the next step. And also on our way up there, we're going to get some get some items. There are some items that we are missing. Um, that's why I saved them for now anyway, because I'm going to get them. 
Okay, so it says no climbing on the sculpture, and Lara's just, she likes breaking the rules, so it's like, whatever, man. I'm gonna climb your sculpture. I don't care. It's not gonna break. So, plus you have T-Rexes running around everywhere. That's what you get. Alright, so as you can see, I'm climbing up right here. It's pretty much, well, I, maybe the only way you can go. I don't know. I, I've only gone this way, so there is some uh -huh. Uzi ammo right there. And now what we gotta do is uh, something a little special. We wanna climb up that center shaft. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump under the slope, hold the action button so I grab the edge, and then shimmy over onto that center shaft so that way I can climb up. Now, there is an extra room that we have not been in yet, and it's behind me right now. Okay, now notice the seams in between the tiles as I'm climbing up. I just passed one, and I'm about to pass one right now, okay? That second seam right here, this is where you need to be. Okay, you can tell you're at the right one because at the next seam, the uh, thing on the right gives away. If you have your feet directly on the seam that I'm on right now and do a backflip, you'll land safely onto this tile, and now we can climb up. In fact, this is probably the easier way to get to the top, too, because the opening is open at the very top. I'm not sure what opens the opening. I'm thinking it's uh, picking up the relay junction box elevator thing that I have to go put in the thing, but... Two baton guys, make sure you waste them. And then over here, uh -huh. there is some items for us to grab. We got Uzi clips. Uh -huh. And that's not all. Down here at the bottom of these steps, we're going to find another pickup if you want them. Uh -huh. we're pretty much, I'm pretty much stocked up now. And since this is the last level, it's pretty pointless to pick up any more items, I suppose. But I'll go ahead and show you what I can. And um, it's going to be the same thing as Ice Palace and... Kingdom. There's gonna be some items that you can grab, but I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm not gonna grab them. It just takes too long, and uh, I just don't want to. It is possible to do without using med pack, but it's very hard. Uh, so that could be the reason why I'm deciding not to do it. But anyway, here I am at the very top. Okay, I have the thing that goes into this box. The switch is pulled. Let's actually take another look into this room. Okay, if you notice back behind this big ass chicken. The door is open now. It was actually shut before, but it is now open. Okay, and so we can actually grab that gold skull. And I'll show you how to do that. Of course, first, you want to climb... You want to use the elevator junction, is what it's called, I suppose. And that should bring the elevator down. Now, I'm going to show you a couple tricks on how to get rid of this guy and still um, pick up most of the items. There are a couple items. I will show you them to you, so you know where they're at but I'm not going to grab them. Okay, elevator came down. Let's uh, pop this thing up and then get back into this thing. And um, yeah, so apparently a lot of people, I got another comment here, a lot of people love the chocolate thing, the chocolate poofing. I just made people so hungry for chocolate. Well, Easter's already gone, guys. Oh no, it's not, it's coming up next month, yay. All right, so here is the uh, elevator shaft. We wanna push this thing down. I'm gonna stand here and wait for a second. Okay, because actually that, that big chicken's coming at me right now. As soon as that thing goes below the level, or even a little bit further, I'll push this thing back up. Okay, I'm going to get on top of it. And it's going to raise up. Okay, and the reason why I did that is, you'll see, it'll become apparent here in a little bit. But I did want to climb up here. You don't have to bring the elevator up to climb up here. But uh, I uh -huh. want to climb up here anyway and grab all these items that is up here. Okay, and then I'll uh -huh. show you where the other items are, and then I'm going to take care of this uh -huh. this big-ass chicken. Because he, uh, actually, he's the same thing as in Ice Palace and in Kingdom. Uh -huh. You kill him, it ends the level. So, get all those items. All right, I'm going to show you where the other items are. I'm being chased by the guy right now. Over here, as soon as you come out to this roof, they're over here to the, to the left. So, all right, now i got to try to dodge this guy, because I still have to go get the secret, right? Ow, he punched me. That's alright, I, I have plenty of life, so... Now here's the idea, you wanna, you wanna go back this direction. From where you entered, you, you just passed the elevator not too long ago. Be careful of the graph, the, be careful of the glass uh, as you're running and jumping through here because, you know, glass kills. As soon as you land on it, you just die. Alright, so here's the gold skull. This room looks familiar. And this is the final king. I'm gonna get punched again. Oh my gosh, I died. I even died, I didn't even save. That's funny. 
Uh, I can't believe I died here, actually. I had full life. Full life. Okay, guys, I will see you guys back at this spot. We'll finish this. I'll show you the tactic to finish this guy off. Alright, guys, I am back at the spot. I got this big-ass chicken on my ass, so I'm going to uh, run down here and grab this secret. I do have a lot of life, and hopefully that pays off for me this time. Uh, yeah, it's really difficult to actually avoid this guy. He di oh, uh, well, never mind. I totally avoid him this time. Okay, so now that I've got the secret, I have all the secrets, okay? So we got the three secrets we needed. I'm going to take him back up here to the elevator. And so the reason why I actually put the elevator back into the other position was simply so that way I could use this to my advantage. He will not cross the, the uh, barrier into this area. In fact, he, he's not even going to come attack me until I stand out here. So that is your uh, protection barrier. As soon as you see him, hop back. And just keep kiting him back and forth like this. Just keep this up until he's dead. Just that simple. Alright, he's dead. He's done for. Let's go over here and kill ourselves. We can do it. Yep, Laura. Yes! Okay, guys. That was Nightmare in Vegas. No health packs used. All the secrets. Oh, I missed a kill. There's one kill that I must have forgot to do. But that's fine. Thank you very much for watching Tomb Raider 2. This has been all levels in the entire Tomb Raider 2 series. So I'll see you guys in the Tomb Raider 3 gold levels. I'm Badass Games. Take it easy.